Hi guys, today I'm just sitting here in my little rocking chair and I wanted to have kind of a one-on-one -on -one with you. You guys know how much I love doing these videos, how much I like to connect with you and start conversations and I know they're not the most exciting videos I do on my channel but I feel like they're important because I feel like anytime you discuss a more sensitive or serious topic, there's somebody out there that needs to hear it and somebody that needs to realize that they are not alone in it. I wanted to discuss just being a parent, especially in the age of social media. I remember when I had my son, you guys know my story, I've put it out there, it's how I got started with insanity, it's how I got started in fitness. I had a kid that never slept, and I'm talking never slept, and it was really, really, really tough on me. It was so tough that I remember calling my mother crying and being like, I don't know what to do. I'm so tired. I'm so resentful. I don't feel happy. I don't feel like I'm enjoying this. And it was such a bummer because I remember I went to a Facebook group, and I just was desperate for a solution. And I was just like attacked with all sorts of things like, um, you know, why are you complaining that your child doesn't sleep and you should be happy and blah, blah, blah. It was just so bad. I felt attacked. And, you know, in the back of my mind, I understood why people came at me like that because it is annoying to hear people whine and to hear people, you know, feel unhappy about something that so many people can't experience, and I get that. But at the same time, when you are a mom to a new baby, you have so many emotions and so many things, like you're sleep deprived, and um, you know if your husband works out of the home, you're really not getting help. And I just felt horrible. I remember thinking, you know, they, they have that cliche quote that it takes a village to raise a child, because that's how it used to work. Everybody lived in a tight-knit community where people were outside and doing things. We weren't stuck in our house watching TV or filming videos or online. Everybody was out there helping one another and if somebody was in trouble, the community came together and just put their efforts together to help this person. And so moms used to not be so alone. They had a community of people backing them up. And the reason I wanna talk about this topic it's just because I still obviously have that little boy that never slept and I would be lying to you if I said that every day was good. In fact, most days are really, 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 really difficult. I spend many nights wanting to cry. I have gone to sleep crying, feeling like a horrible mother, filled with so much guilt. It's hard to talk about it because I don't want people feeling like I don't like my child and one day he'll see these videos and I want him to know I adore my child. I am obsessed with him when I'm away from him. I want nothing than nothing more than to be with him. I love him. You know, his dad loves him, but he is a hard child to deal with. He's not like our first who, you know, we've never really had a problem with. She's always listened and she's always understood what we're trying to tell her and adjusted whenever we've tried to make changes. And then I have a child who is the complete opposite. He is completely like strong-willed. He is his mind, it just works in its own way. He wants to do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. He doesn't adjust well to change. He doesn't do well with authority. A good um, example is swim lessons. Everybody told me you just have to force him in the water. You have to put him in the hands of somebody else otherwise he's never gonna learn and it'll be heartbreaking to watch but you have to do it because he has to learn. And as a mother I knew that's not how my kid works. That's not how his brain works. If I throw him in the water with another person it's gonna traumatize him. He's not gonna wanna get in the pool and every day is gonna be a battle. So instead, I let him go every single day and watch his sister do swim lessons. And now, at the beginning of the summer, he would barely put his feet in the water. He definitely wouldn't put his head in the water or his face. And now he's underwater swimming two months later because he watched by himself and decided he wanted to do it. And while that is such a good quality to have and I know he's gonna be such a strong adult and he's gonna be a leader and he's gonna know what he wants and how to get it and it's gonna to work to his advantage, right now it's really tough because you're dealing with a four-year-old that just 
doesn't get it. I feel guilty a lot of times. I feel like I don't speak his language. It really hurts my heart because he'll get really angry and want to hurt people. He'll want to grab, he'll want to hit. And I see it in his body. I can notice when he starts to tense up and he doesn't know what to do with himself. And as a mother, there's very few things that are as heartbreaking as that. When you feel like you don't know how to connect with your child, you don't know how to help them with their frustrations. And it can be really, really difficult because you're seeing online people's, they act like their children are so perfect because being online you have a highlight reel. You see everybody's highlights and you see them doing amazing activities with their children and cooking incredible breakfast for their children and their children hugging and getting along or loving on animals. Meanwhile, you're at your own house tugging on your hair because your child is throwing things at the dog and hitting his sister and um, you know, denying everything food you feed him and you feel like a failure and I just want to come on here and let you guys know that you're not alone in that and I don't just make this video to make it I decided to film it because a few days I was going through the trenches and you guys know I love to film videos when I'm going through it but I gave it a few days to breathe and relax it just seems so impossible at times and I want you to let you know that you're not a failure because I hold a lot of guilt myself and at the end of the day I just feel like I am failing at being a parent. He's going to grow up to be a brat. He's going to grow up to not respect boundaries, not respect authority. And I tear myself up. I have to remind myself, relax. He's four years old. He's been on this planet for four years. He's still learning. He's still growing. You are doing things consistently every day. If you're consistently doing these, one day it's going to click. And one day he's going to realize, I'm not getting my way. I need to listen to a little bit of my mom because my mom knows what's best and she knows what's good for me and she's going to lead me down the right path. There is no mother on the planet that is perfect. I know one good example is The Real Housewives of Orange County, if anybody watches it. Heather Dubrow just seems like she has it together and everybody says that. All the other cast members say that is Heather just, she manages four children and she's a wife and a business owner and building a house and she just seems like she's so good at it. And I put that pressure on myself. I always think, you know, me and my husband, we have a, an amazing relationship, but sometimes I get to myself thinking, we would be so much happier if I could just keep the house a little cleaner or if I could just cook him more meals that he liked. And man, if the kids, if I could get them to stop fighting, maybe he would feel relaxed after a long day of work. And I beat myself up, I beat myself up, and we have to stop that. And we have to open this conversation up because I think we need to let other mothers know that things aren't perfect. And people that are on a pedestal and acting like they're high and mighty, there is something that they are not doing that you are. And that doesn't mean that they're terrible or something's wrong with them. It's just not always, everything is not what it seems. So I hope this video helps you guys a little bit, all my mothers out there. And, um, you can kind of relate to me. If you enjoy these type of videos, please give them a thumbs up. Again, I know they're not the most exciting, but I think they are probably the most important. And I want to keep the conversation going, so I want you to leave comments down below of maybe things you struggle with as a parent, or maybe leave some encouraging words for other mothers down below. We would always love to hear it, and it's always a good space to come together and feel supported and motivated. So that's it. I hope this video again helps you guys. And until the next one, I will see you later. Bye.